Hey Virgo, it's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series of Virgo Sun. And now we're in the 10th house and it is the Capricorn's house, okay? So yeah, this is it on the chart, okay? Capricorn and the opposite is Cancer, okay? So yeah, you're in their house. If you have your son in that house, you act more like a Capri and a Cancer, okay? And a Virgo <laughs> and a Pisces. <laughs> so yeah, so let's get started. Uh, you are the perfect employee of the, or partner. You ensure everything will work out on your watch. Every detail will be done and understood. Understood. If covering your, if cover, uh, covering yourself, if anything happens, it won't be on your your fault. You care about being the employee of the month because you delight. Um, Diligent work says it all. Your diligent work says it all. You may be one of the highest paid pe persons in your field, not trying to run the company. That's not your goal. Too much responsibility. You don't like that. Like to be of service to others, though. People trust you. You have the staying power, and they know it. The backbone of the business. Like stability, very loyal. Your uh, affectionate punctual and quick with it you may understand the um the tortoise and the hare scenario the tortoise wants wins for persistence and detail oriented where the hare is fast being so fast miss the little details of, of everything you know the importance of a team uh stars hillary clinton elvis presley uh, Eminem, Bruce Lee, Marlon Brando, those names says it all, may have problems in marriage or relationship, different scenarios, okay, because you are a workaholic, it comes first, you may have a, a partner at work that you work with, both work together in order for this to happen, she may run the company, you do all the, you know, the details of it, make sure it shine, very intuitive, you help others understand their skills, Help them bring them out. So maybe that's something to consider if you're thinking about getting married. Person on the same page. Uh, don't be manipulative and narcissistic. That's another scenario. So you can look like the uh, winner in situations. Can be a um, scientist or another scenario. A writer, teacher, researcher, librarian, um, medicine practitioner. Farmer, healer, all to your birth chart. Okay, very committed to your work. Learn to relax so stress, depression won't cause health issues. Okay, doubting yourself. Know the chess, you know the chess of the world and how to play it. Very organized, can't stand chaos, nothing out of place, order, structured, may be OCD. Uh, not really money driven or spend a lot. To have a good time make a couple of beers go out whatever drinks no doubt your dreams will come through have a lot of gifts could be straightforward cold not fast on making decisions but have a vision on things you are working on and will get it done no matter what others think so this is what i have for you virgie <laughs> in the 10th house and I'm encouraging you to look at your birth chart and find it and pull it up and study your own self, okay? And I will put it in the description box where to find that. And, uh, yeah. So, this is your girl Ruth signing off. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And love y'all, okay? Thanks. Bye.